Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Friday. We got 15 matchups on this MLB slate today. So be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my betting links in the description below to get in on the action. Go ahead, turn on those notification bells. And yeah, we'll hop in it. Big slate today. Starting with the Kansas City Royals versus the Minnesota Twins. Twins opening up as big home favorites at minus 260. Kansas City plus 210 with the over under at 7.5. Royals coming into this matchup 6 and 20. The Twins 15 and 11. Pitching for the Royals is Jordan Lyles with an ERA of 4.31. Pitching for the Twins is Pablo Lopez with an ERA of 3.0. Lyles, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up four runs, had five strikeouts. Lopez, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up five runs, had six strikeouts. Royals, uh, on a two-game losing streak, losing to Minnesota 7-1 to yesterday. Uh, Kansas City 0-8 on the road against Minnesota here. And, uh, yeah, I really just don't trust the Royals. They've looked horrible. And uh, I'm going to roll with the Twins at home. Next matchup, we got the Baltimore Orioles versus the Detroit Tigers. Baltimore opening up as road favorites at minus 125. Detroit plus 110 with the over-under at 7.5. Baltimore coming into this matchup 17-8. Detroit 9-15. Pitching for the Orioles is Grayson Rodriguez with an ERA of 5.12. Pitching for the Tigers is Eduardo Rodriguez with an ERA of 2.32. Uh, Grayson, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up zero runs, had six strikeouts. Eduardo, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up zero runs, had six strikeouts. His last three starts, he's only given up one run. He's actually been very good on the mound here. Baltimore beating Detroit 7-4. They're 9-1 in their last 10. I mean, they are hot right now. Uh, they've been playing great baseball. 5-1 um, and one on the road right now. And, uh, yeah, I like Baltimore here. I know Eduardo's been good on the mound, but I'm going to roll with the Orioles on the road. Next matchup, we got the Chicago Cubs versus the Miami Marlins. Cubs opening up as road favorites at minus 115. Miami minus 105 with the over under at seven and a half. Cubs coming into this matchup 14 and 10. The Marlins 13 and 13. Pitching for the Cubs is Marcus Stroman with an ERA of 2.17. Pitching for the Marlins is Jesus Lazardo with an ERA of 3.62. Stroman, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up five runs, had five strikeouts. Lazardo, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up four runs, had six strikeouts. The Cubs coming off a Padres win. Miami coming off an Atlanta win. Um, yeah, Cubs are six and one on the road. Uh, both teams, you know, about the same right now. Um, I don't know, very even matchup. I can see this one really going either way here, and uh, I think I'll take a shot with the Marlins plus one and a half at home. Next matchup, we got the Pittsburgh Pirates versus the Washington Nationals. Pirates opening up as road favorites at minus 125. Washington plus 115 with the over-under at 8.5. Pirates coming into this matchup 18-8. The Nationals 9-15. Pitching for the Pirates is Rich Hill with an ERA of 4.85. Pitching for the Nationals is Chad Cool with an ERA of 7.36. Hill, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, had seven strikeouts. Pool, his last start, he pitched three innings, gave up one run, had five strikeouts. Pittsburgh, um, yeah, nine and one in their last ten. Back-to-back -back underdog wins against the Dodgers. Washington coming off a Mets loss. Looked good in that Mets series, though, but uh, yeah, pitch just on another level. They're playing some of the best baseball in the league right now, and yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm on a roll with the Pirates on the road. Next matchup, we got the Seattle Mariners versus the Toronto Blue Jays. Toronto opening up as home favorites at minus 110. Seattle plus 100 with the over-under at 8.5. Mariners coming into this matchup 11-14. Toronto 16-9. Pitching for the Mariners is Luis Castillo with an ERA of 1.52. Pitching for the Blue Jays is Alec Manoa with an ERA of 
Castillo, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, had eight strikeouts. Manoa, his last start, he pitched uh, seven innings, gave up zero runs, had five strikeouts. Seattle, uh, coming off back-to-back -back Philly losses. Toronto on a four-game winning streak, coming off a series sweep against the White Sox. Coming off an 8-0 and a 7-0 win. So coming off two really good uh, games. And uh, yeah, I like the way Toronto's been playing. And uh, I'm going to roll with the Blue Jays at home. Next matchup, we got the Atlanta Braves versus the New York Mets. Braves opening up as road favorites at minus 145. The Mets plus 125 with the over-under at 7.5. Atlanta coming into this matchup 17-9. The Mets 15-11. Pitching for the Braves is Max Freed with an ERA of 0.60. Pitching for the Mets is David Peterson with an ERA of 7.36. Freed, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up zero runs, had five strikeouts, only given up one run in his last three starts. Peterson, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up seven runs, had eight strikeouts. He's he's had two very bad starts on the mound in his last two. Atlanta coming off a Miami loss. Mets coming off a Washington win. A series they played very bad in. Uh, Atlanta is 8-1 on the road. 6-1 against the Mets. Yeah, love Freed on the mound here. And uh, I'm going to roll with the Braves on the road. Next matchup, we got the Cleveland Guardians versus the Boston Red Sox. Cleveland opening up as road favorites at minus 135. Boston plus 115 with the over-under at 8.5. Cleveland coming into this matchup 12 and 13. Boston 13 and 13. Pitching for the Guardians is Shane Bieber with an ERA of 3.23. Pitching for the Red Sox is Nick Pavetta with an ERA of 4.58. Bieber, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, had four strikeouts. Pavetta, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, and had seven strikeouts. Cleveland coming off a Colorado win. Boston coming off a Baltimore loss. Um, yeah, not the greatest matchup here. I uh, could really see this one going either way. Both teams kind of playing about the same. Pitching matchup about the same. I'll take a shot with Boston plus one and a half at home. All right, next matchup. We got the Tampa Bay Rays versus the Chicago White Sox. Tampa Bay opening up as road favorites at minus 145. The White Sox plus 125 with the over-under at 8.5. Tampa coming into this matchup 21-5. The White Sox 7-19. Pitching for the Rays is Zach Eflin with an ERA of 2.81. Pitching for the White Sox is Lucas Giolito with an ERA of 4.50. Eflin, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up one run, had four strikeouts. Giolito, his last start, he pitched seven innings. Gave up four runs and had five strikeouts. Uh, Tampa Bay coming off a big White Sox win, winning 14-5. to uh, That was a big win yesterday for them. Uh, White Sox, they've just been very bad here. One and nine in their last ten on an eight-game losing streak here. Uh, yeah, it's been very bad for the White Sox. Uh, up against the best team in the league here. And um, I'm going to roll with the Rays on the road. Next matchup, we got the New York Yankees versus the Texas Rangers. Rangers opening up as home favorites at minus 205. The Yankees plus 175 with the over-under at 7. Yankees coming into this matchup 15 and 11. The Rangers 14 and 11. Pitching for the Yankees is Clark Schmidt with an ERA of 6.30. Pitching for the Rangers is Jacob deGrom with an ERA of 3.04. Schmidt, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up zero runs, had eight strikeouts. deGrom, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run, had 11 strikeouts. Um, Yeah, Aaron Judge is out. So that I think that's why the line's a little up. So no Aaron Judge in the rotation here. They're on a two-game winning streak. They did beat the Rangers 4-2 yesterday. Uh, Rangers on a little four game losing streak here, but um, yeah, you know, the Yankees, yeah, without Aaron Judge, that definitely hurts their uh, hitting, definitely hurts the hitting rotation here. And um, I like DeGrom on the mound, and uh, I think I'm gonna roll with the Rangers at home. 
Next matchup, we got the Los Angeles Angels versus the Milwaukee Brewers. Brewers opening up as home favorites at minus 140. LA plus 120 with the over under at nine. Angels coming into this matchup 14 and 12. The Brewers 16 and nine. Pitching for the Angels is Tyler Anderson with an ERA of 7.20. Pitching for the Brewers is Wade Miley with an ERA of 1.96. Anderson, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up five runs, had one strikeout. Miley, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up two runs, had three strikeouts. Angels on a three-game winning streak, uh, back three wins in a row against Oakland. Uh, Brewers coming off a Detroit win. Angels are eight and two against Milwaukee. Um, yeah, Brewers not playing well this last week. Um, got some bad losses against Detroit, and uh, yeah, I think I'll take a shot with the Angels plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Philadelphia Phillies versus the Houston Astros. Houston opening up as home favorites at minus one forty-five. Philly plus 125 with the over under at seven and a half. Philly's coming into this matchup 13 and 13. The Astros 14 and 11. Pitching for the Phillies is Aaron Nola with an ERA of 5.40. Pitching for the Astros is Framber Valdez with an ERA of 2.25. Nola, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up three runs, had three strikeouts. Valdez, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up three runs, had nine strikeouts. The Phillies on a two-game winning streak right now, uh, beating Seattle uh, in the last two games. Houston on a two-game winning streak, coming off those big Tampa Bay wins, which was uh, nice for Houston. Philly just one and four on the road against the Astros here. Uh, you know, definitely struggled against Houston and uh I do like Valdez on the mound here, and uh, I think I'm going to roll with the Astros at home. Next matchup, we got the Arizona Diamondbacks versus the Colorado Rockies. Arizona opening up as road favorites at minus 125. Colorado plus 105 with the over-under at 11. Arizona coming into this matchup 14-12. and 12. Colorado 8-18. Eight and 18. Pitching for Arizona is Merrill Kelly with an ERA of 4.10. Pitching for the Rockies is Kyle Freeland with an ERA of 4.28. Kelly, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up four runs, had seven strikeouts. Freeland, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up four runs, had six strikeouts. Arizona coming off a Royals win. Rockies coming off a Cleveland loss. Um... And not the greatest matchup here. Rockies really haven't played that well to start the season. And uh, I, don't know, I think I'm going to roll with the Diamondbacks on the road. Next matchup, we got the Cincinnati Reds versus the Oakland Athletics. Reds opening up as road favorites at minus 125. Oakland plus 105 with the over-under at 8.5. Reds coming into this matchup 10-15. and 15. Oakland 5-21. Pitching for the Reds is Luis Sessa with an ERA of 10.80. Uh, currently don't know who's pitching for Oakland, so be sure to check that uh, whenever that does get released. Uh, Sessa, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up two runs, had four strikeouts. Reds on a three-game winning streak, sweeping the Rangers in that series. Oakland on a three-game losing streak. Uh, it's been bad for Oakland here. Don't want, don't want any part of the athletics here. And um, I'm going to roll with the Reds on the road. In the last matchup, we got the St. Louis Cardinals versus the Los Angeles Dodgers. Dodgers opening up as home favorites at minus 145. St. Louis plus 120 with the over-under at 9. Cardinals coming into this matchup 10 and 16. The Dodgers 13 and 13. Pitching for the Cardinals is Jack Flaherty with an ERA of 3.29. Pitching for the Dodgers is Dustin May. With an ERA of 3.07. Flaherty, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up three runs. Had nine strikeouts. May, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up two runs. Had six strikeouts. St. Louis coming off a Giants win. Dodgers back-to-back -back Pirates losses here. Um, yeah, St. Louis, they really just haven't played that well. They're 2-8 and eight on the road against the Dodgers. So they really struggled against L.A. here. And um, 
I think I'm going to lean with the Dodgers at home in this one. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Friday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Saturday. Have a good one.